through to us and passing through the time away on our transit out to the moon. And it's uh, rather odd to see it floating like this in, uh, in Odyssey while it's playing uh, the theme from 2001. April 13th, 1970. The mood could only be described as relaxed. Apollo 13, man's fifth lunar mission. The third scheduled to land on the moon, continued its tranquil coast. This is the crew of Apollo 13. We should be there. Uh, nice evening, and uh, we're just about ready to close out our inspection of Aquarius and get back for a pleasant evening at Odyssey. Good night. 13, we've got one more item for you when you get a chance. We'd like you to uh, stir up your cryo tanks. In addition, uh, have a shaft and trunnion okay. for a look at the Comet Bennett if you need it. Okay. Stand by. Okay, uh, Houston, Houston, we've had a problem here. This is Houston. Say again, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a main B bus undervolt. Roger, main B undervolt. Okay, stand by, 13. We're looking at it. And we had a pretty large bang associated with the um, caution and warning there. And as I recall, main B was the one that uh, had an amp spike on it uh, once before. In the interim here, uh, we're starting to uh, go ahead and button up the tunnel again. April 11th, 1970, launch day. The crew of Apollo 13. Jim Lovell, commander and veteran of three previous missions. He had orbited the moon Christmas 1968 on Apollo 8. Fred Hayes, his first time up, lunar module pilot. Jack Swigert, command module pilot. Three days ago, he was on the backup crew. Now he replaced Ken Mattingly. Mattingly had been dropped from the mission because he had been exposed to German measles. He would watch the launch from Houston's mission control. Auto sequence initiated, flight. Roger. Flight booster. Go. No. S4B pre-press complete. Roger. Flight booster. S1C pre-press complete. We're on internal power and we'll go. Roger. How's it look, Econ? You got your space? Looks good, flight. Okay. 